it's about 11 o'clock in the morning here at Canyon Ferry and it's really cold it's like minus 12 plus the wind chill so as soon as the wind starts to blow it gets really cold really quickly um, but <laughs> there's no wind right now so uh, we're fully set up fully ready to go the craft's in great shape the ice is in pretty good shape not perfect um, but certainly enough room for us to run We've got about four miles by one mile of pretty good ice. And there's a big high pressure centered over us right now, which is making this nice sunny, but very calm weather. Now it's looking to change around maybe Thursday with the front coming through. The good news, it might get windy. The bad news is it's gonna get a lot colder with the Arctic wind coming out from Canada. So we'll have to see how it goes. Give you a quick view of what it's like to, to sit in the machine under the seat belt there. And bringing the cockpit down. Okay, this is the cockpit. And we've got three separate GPS displays here. First one is read out on a Palm Pilot there, that's recording at 5 hertz. Second one is the Race Logic Drift Box, recording at 10 hertz. And the third one is a Garmin system here, which actually just plots our position. Front wheel steering is controlled by the steering wheel here. We've got two gauges that control the pressure in the main cell sheeting system. We've got a manual pressure pump here that controls the force in the rain sail. So I'm not sure whether you can see that. That gives us a, a speed heading and a picture on the lake of exactly where we are. On top of these three primary means of GPS, we've got another three secondary GPS's which both record at one hertz. So we've got six separate systems on board the craft at any one time. This is the sort of view we get when we're sailing. And lastly here we have our external battery indicator from Mastervolt that tells, tells us battery power and uh, consumption usage. And that battery only controls the GPS systems.